Hello, it's Karen here with the October challenge, which is to scrap multiple photos. So, um, my daughter sent me these photos of her puppy Isla with this lovely rainbow in the background. So, I've got five of those printed out, but I'm only going to use four, so I will choose with three from the small ones so that that will be my photo and because of the rainbow I have printed out and cut on my silhouette a title called Chasing Rainbows. I've also printed out and cut my journal in in rainbow colours and I've cut on sticky backed card um, if you can see a, a rainbow with some clouds and I'm going to back the clouds with vellum to make them look a bit more cloud-like. But first I'm going to use this Vicky Bootin, Bootin, I don't know how you say it, foundations paper and ink it with um, rain, rainbow inks, a range of rainbow inks. Once I've done that I'm going to um, pierce some holes and use this rainbow thread and I also have these cocoa vanilla butterflies which I may or may not use depending on how it looks once I've finished. Some of my inks are distress oxide inks and some are just distress inks. So let's start with So here we have my rainbow inked piece of card. I'm going to let that dry and be back in a minute to do something else. I've got a piece of textured white card stock cut to nine inches square and I don't know if you can see I have used my silhouette to pierce holes in which I'm going to stitch with the rainbow thread. So I've finished my stitching and the next job is to backfill my rainbow. As I said earlier, this is sticky back card so it makes backfilling really easy. And what you've got to do now is put a piece of fabric onto each side for the clouds.
I've also put these clouds onto some vellum and I just need to trim them out. I changed the size of my photographs because the other ones were larger and they covered up a lot of the stitching which made it pointless. I printed my title on the same curve as my rainbow so that it fits perfectly in the rainbow. final thing is to add my journaling and my clouds and I'm really pleased how these have turned out with the vellum in giving them that kind of cloudy look. I printed my journaling out in kind of a typewritery font onto just strips of paper. So that's my finished page with um, the vellum clouds and stitching. I'm a journalist.